Hi Achievers, this is Mr. Geary from MySciences.com Online Labs and today we have a quick lab that comes from the Holt Earth Science California edition and the objective is to understand which structures are more resistant to damage by an earthquake. The objective, the California standard objective is 3D. Students know how and why earthquakes occur and investigation and experimentation 1D. Students will formulate explanations using logic and evidence and 1G Students will recognize the usefulness and limitations of models and theories as scientific representations of reality. Today's lab is called Earthquake Safe Buildings, and the supplies are going to be building blocks and rubber bands. The building blocks, I went ahead and went to the local 99 cent store and just bought some regular uh, building blocks and just a handful of rubber bands. What, let me go ahead and read the instructions. So again, this is page 306. and. The procedure is, number one, on a tabletop, build one structure by stacking building blocks on top of each other. Number two, pound gently on the side of the table, record what happens to the structure. Number three, using rubber bands, wrap sets of three blocks together, build a second structure by using these blocks. And number four, repeat step two. So what the students did is they went ahead and built some structures without rubber bands and then pounded the table, so they probably did fall. And then what they did secondly was they went ahead and used rubber bands to reinforce the structures. And they went ahead and did a little competition to see who could build the biggest structure using the least amount of rubber bands. The, what they have to answer afterwards is the analysis, and that is which of your structures was more resistant to damage caused by an earthquake? Number two, how could this model relate to building real structures such as elevated highways? So that's the lab the quick lap, and this is Mr. Geary signing off.